Hello Brad. Uh, I wanted to give you an idea of what was going on with uh, this location on this house uh, that you're asking about up on 4 o'clock road. Well, I'm, right now I'm sitting on 4 o'clock road and uh, if you look right there, that is the base of the snowflake lift. And this is the lift that runs right by the house. Uh, we're at the base of it here. At the, we're at the, uh, the eastern end of the lift. Uh, right now I'm at the corner of 4 o'clock road and this is King's Crown to give you an idea. So when you look at a map, you can kind of get an idea. But maybe what I do is, is drive you up this road and give you a feel for um, you know, where we are as far as distance. By the way, I'm going to stop here for a second. Again, here's the lift. You can access this lift off a of 4 o'clock ski run just beyond that, uh, that, uh, that dumpster enclosure there in the distance. You can see that the dumpster enclosure uh, there beyond the red, uh, I'm sorry, the yellow van. Um, the the four, four o'clock ski run runs stop. Actually, if you look to the edge of the the far edge of the asphalt, that's where uh, four o'clock ski run uh, goes by. It's perpendicular to where I'm looking here. That runs you all the way into town into Park Avenue, um, uh, a block off Main Street. If you were to ski from the house at the end of four o'clock road, this is where you come out, take your skis off, walk up this this asphalt area here and then over to the lift to access the base of the lift. Now my understanding is that there is a um, uh, there is a station right there by the house where you can load on the chair. But I'm going to take you up 4 o'clock road here and uh, give you a feel for what this area looks like. Hopefully you won't get car sick and I won't hit a guardrail. Right along in here, just beyond the, um, the the little fence right there, right there is Four O'clock Ski Run. You can see the uh, the wands, those metal poles sticking up. Those are actually snow making uh, guns, and the wands they adjust those and they, they make snow on here. Once they get enough cold temperatures and more snow, they'll open up. That Four O'clock Ski Run runs right along this area here. Cast day. Hopefully, we'll get some snow. All right. So we're coming up into the entrance to the Trappers Glen neighborhood here. See the entry sign there. Again, four o'clock ski run is right here. Comes right down the hill up there. Comes right along in here and down that way. So if you wanted to, on a snowy day, you could actually ski down the road here to access 4 o'clock skiing on that way. Um, but as we go up, you can see the different level and quality of homes in here. There's some, some nice places here. Valley over here. The property in question is um, this one right here. Right here at the very end of the road. It is a beautiful place. It really is. It was beautifully done. Let me uh, get out here and Here's the setting. And actually, pardon me, I'm just going to take you along with me. What I want to do is grab this map. Where we are in relation to everything is. Uh, this map and I have actually sent this to you rather than try to show you where everything is on it I'm gonna 
Um, yeah, let's see here. Let's let's figure out the best way to do this. Um, so your property's right here. We drove up the road there, and uh, we're at the end of the drive. This area here is open space. Um, this blue line is the ski lift. This is where I first started. We drove up the road this way, but the ski lift goes up through the valley here and uh, goes by the property here, right over here. And then there's a loading station here. Um, as you'll see when I walk up here, um, the, uh, the lay of the land here. So there's a fair amount of slope behind the house. These stairs give you access to the back of the house. Where the ski run is, is located along this visual line up here as far as this, this area here. You see the snow cat parked up there. The ski run is along there. How you would access the house coming off the mountain would be up by this equipment. We'd ski down through here to this point here. There's actually a trail behind the house here, but you used to actually stop right in this area here. To access the lift area, you'd traverse across this area here. This is this is that open space. You'll see by the aerial photograph this area that's been, been cleared of trees. They're doing that um, because of the pine pine beetle that uh, uh, have infested the area a couple years ago. So they're taking out a bunch of dead trees, things like that. Again, to orient you, there's the house right in here. We just walk down this trail. This is where you'd ski and traverse across this area here. So you know it's a fairly flat access and you can see there's a tower in front of me here for the chair. I'm gonna walk over here so you can get a real good feel for where this is. From this point since we're elevated above it, right there's the tower. Kind of hard to make out in the trees but it's right there. And look down here you can see a little, little shed down there. And there's a place where you can load to go skiing. So, and cruising along here. This is where you come across. to ski down. You can see a little slope here. I'll walk a little further up so you can get a feel for what that is. So you can see here and then right along in here just uh, beyond the, the edge there you can see you see the yellow uh, you can make it out. It's hard to see through the lens here. But right there is where you ski over to the side of the little shack there and you can load. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Here we go. So you see the shed and the platform right there and that's where you load to get on the chair. So hopefully it's clear as mud now. But anyway, um, that's the access for skiing. Uh, again, another way to do um, to get over to four o'clock ski run would be to uh, walk down your street from your house in your ski boots and then jump on uh, near the entrance to that Trappers Glen neighborhood. That's another way to get uh, get on to four o'clock ski run. And then again, skiing to the base of four o'clock, uh, skiing down four. 
four o'clock ski run, you can ski over to the base of this chair and then ride up. Actually, I want to see if this makes sense, but right up here, I was telling you about that 45 degree angle turn. That's located right up, right up here. And where this chair takes you is to the base of peak eight. And so what it does, it, it turns here and then goes up this way, up the mountain, to the base of peak eight. Again, uh, let's talk when you get a chance. I can show you on the maps. And uh, hopefully that gives you a feel for uh, you know, where we are in relation to uh, uh, the ski area and the mountain. Uh, again, that equipment is right up here. See so right along this tree line here. Again, the ski run is up there. Four o'clock ski run comes off the mountain, goes on that way. You could conceivably come down this way to access the chair again. But I think, uh, you know, from a standpoint, of, depending on your level of you know, skiing ability, um, not, not that difficult. Uh, where if you were to come off the ski run by the equipment up here, and then traverse across the slope through these trees here, you could access your uh, the home. So I trust that helps.